Hello, just want to give a quick shout out to Tom from Ox Tool Company. Um, he just gave a, uh, built a video, it was a straight knurling demonstration, and I watched it, followed the directions, after getting a little piece of advice from him, um, and my very first knurling attempt came out. How often does that happen? That's pretty neat. I want to say thank you. Um, the other piece of advice he gave me was to figure out to do to use the uh, the calculation that he uh, provides in his demonstration, which I can't seem to get to show up very well because of the glare. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not. My videography is not all that good. Um, you do need to know. How many teeth per inch are on your particular knurler? And I did not know that because this is all the markings that I had on mine. Right there. It's a cheap Chinese set that came with uh, a fake Aloris tool post um, or tool holder, I should say. And, you know, it's just something I'm playing around with. I'm absolutely just a hobbyist. So here we go. The Ox Tool Company Tom method of once you have your, your teeth per inch, uh, divide that, divide one by that number to get the length of each tooth, I guess you should say. Um, Take the diameter of the stock that you're starting with, multiply that by pi, you're working to get the, uh, the diameter, and divide that by the length of your teeth, and you will get a number. And that's how many teeth would go on around that diameter. And most likely you're going to end up with something with a fraction, or, you know, 0.36 in my case, which it means you're not going to divide evenly, which means your teeth are going to go right over top of one another as the work continues to turn around, and that's not going to work. So what you do at this case, is at this stage, is you either go up or down. Um, down makes most sense, I guess. Uh, I went down from 59.36 to 59, uh, multiplied that, and then you work backwards in your equation. Now you're multiplying the 59, the even number, the uh, excuse me, the whole number, by that uh, <clears throat> the length of your um, your teeth, and you wind up with a a desired diameter. You divide that diameter by pi. You get your actual um, oh, excuse me, your circumference is what I I've been uh, using meaning to say when I've said diameter. You divide that circumference by pi and you get your desired diameter which uh, in my case was 1.174. I turned that piece down to that, down to 1.174 and voila! It looks pretty good. So thank you Tom.